As the Jamaica Labour Party reaches its 79th year, one of the things that I reflect on as a historian of the party and as the president of the Senate is the extent to which the delegates, the delegates of this party have over the years presented, thrown up, and presented to the people of Jamaica the right leader at the right time. Sir Alexander Bustamante, Premier and First Prime Minister of this country, a man born in a Watland daub in Blenheim in Hanover, presented by the delegates of this great party to the people of Jamaica, was the right man at the right time. He was able to disengage Jamaica from the snare of federation, a snare that was presented to the people of Jamaica by the People's National Party and the colonial authorities. It took Bustamante to get Jamaica out of that crisis and to put us on the road as an independent country. Donald Sangster, who was Prime Minister in 1967, former Minister of Finance and de facto Prime Minister for many years, again, the right person at the right time, who put Jamaica's economic development on the right track. Then, of course, there was Hugh Shearer, who became the Prime Minister in 1967, born in Martha Bray in Trelawney, a man who put Jamaica on the international map, on the diplomatic map of the world as a defender of human rights and the struggle for equal rights and justice in Southern Africa. Hugh Shearer put Jamaica on top before reggae music. And then, of course, there was Mr. Siaga, Edward Philip George Siaga, who became Prime Minister in 1980. A man who lived with the people in Salt Lane, in Kingston. He was the man that stood up against the gale of socialism and international communism that destroyed the economy of this country in the 1970s. He rescued Jamaica from that and laid the foundation again for the prosperity of this country. Bruce Golden came to power and restored the faith of the people in the parliamentary system and the system of accountability in the parliament. And then, of course, there is Andrew Michael Holness, again, chosen by the delegates of this noble institution, presented to the people of Jamaica as the first prime minister born after independence, chosen as a man to lead this country into what is referred to as the third industrial revolution or the digital age. He, Andrew Holness, as the leader of this party and the prime minister of Jamaica, has already proved himself. He took this country through the COVID pandemic. Many countries faltered. What Andrew Holness did for this country in the COVID pandemic, many leaders of the industrial nations failed to do for their country. And after the COVID crisis, he continued the process of development. Nobody can question the status of this country during and after COVID. Andrew Holness has already changed the skyline of this capital city, Kingston, and he continues the process of this development. So you, the delegates of the party, have always managed to present the right person at the right time, and you continue to do so. So it is up to us as a party, to continue to present to the people of Jamaica one party, one vision, one leader under the flag of this Jamaica land we love. 
and the God Almighty, the one God Almighty, who we continue to serve as our guiding light and redeemer.